look at this quiet and peaceful game world with everybody living quietly, peacefully, and with their brains right where they should be. But this world is coming to an end. Wait, there's a hero who will save us all. Or maybe two of them. No, wait, four heroes. Who does not appreciate some top-down shooter action? Especially with up to three of your favorite buds in split-screen local co-op. It Came From Outer Space and Ate Our Brains is the latest from Polish developer All In Games. And while the top-down twin-stick genre has taken on some increasingly impressive new innovations, namely from games such as Ruiner, Livelock, Neon Chrome, and of course one of my faves, Helldivers, to name a few, It Came From Outer Space and Ate Our Brains plays it safe with a simple pick-up-and-play formula. My first playthrough, where I faced off alone against the relentless brain-eating hordes, has players beginning in a rooftop setting, thankfully equipped with a trusty flashlight and pistol to dispatch the earlier baddies eager to taste my brain juice, the game is presented with a cool neon lit mood of sorts, almost encouraging you to stay clear of the map's darker areas while you are in a constant state of evasion as you press forward. As with most games of this type, initially enemy swarms are rather light and manageable, until eventually you're fighting for any bit of wiggle room in order to keep the horde in front of each trigger pull. The game offers various difficulty settings such as easy, medium, hard, and for you gluttons of punishment, the insane option awaits. While the tension will certainly excite players, don't expect to be scared as the game's art style is supported by a compelling paper mache theme. As straightforward as the gameplay design can get, the level design is on par almost to a fault. Sure, levels may manage to differ from locale to locale, with a few convenient obstacles, which aid in giving players more breathing room, yet the lack of more dynamic flair can cause the game to suffer from feeling uh, repetitive. Adding to the experience, players are incited by unlocking new weapons, by destroying glowing boxes offering currency, giving players the means to equip an assortment of killing options. The game's arsenal consists of six gun options, supported by rapidly firing rifles, a laser gun, a shotgun option, as well as a rocket launcher. For the most part, selecting the weapon with the highest rate of fire is a no-brainer, especially while playing solo. However, in cooperative mode, it feels good being that guy toting the explosive rocket launcher. While each weapon can offer a degree of pleasure, the importance of moving forward can quickly force players to stick with what works best according to that playstyle. Impressively, each weapon can be upgraded to a max level. However, once you complete a level, you are reintroduced to your trusty pistol, needing to acquire and upgrade your weapons all over again for the next level. I actually enjoyed this as it gave me something to work for with each level. Oh, and don't worry. Each weapon comes with unlimited ammo once acquired. Such a beautiful thing. The playing field can be rewarding as temporary upgrades like fully maxed out weapons can be found alongside mines, turrets, shields, and force shields. Once you die, and trust me, you will die quite often, your high score is revealed, followed by your max multiplier, number of kills, shots fired, deaths, and favorite weapons or most used weapons before you met your end. In this way, the game maintains your standing performance, baiting your competitive nature to outlast your previous playthrough. It Came From Outer Space and Ate Your Brains offers six levels, consisting of rooftops, alleys, a cave, clinics, sewers, and a riverside level. For the purpose of maintaining a mood of tension and the use of dramatic lighting as showcased with enemies and the environment surrounding each level, the, games are played, the game is actually played during the night. This was never a problem for me, however, as mentioned before, the inclusion of a more dynamic environment would certainly have added to the game's elementary formula. What does add to the game's increasing fun factor is the ever-present soundtrack, which does a fantastic job emphasizing the need for survival. Despite the somewhat varied levels, the contrast of each level does not convey a dramatic visual impression. All the more reason for the use of more dynamic elements. Even the game's pacing could be a snorefest for some as the game's enemies never speed up their approach on the more easier difficulties I might add. Yet the harder the difficulty, the faster enemies 
will swarm you, and they are relentless. This becomes thrillingly obvious while playing on the insane difficulty. It came from outer space and ate our brains is a lot of fun, and even more so with friends. As you desperately finesse for each opening while constantly pulling the trigger in order to stay alive, this uncomplicated formula is quite enjoyable. The game may start off very slow, and as mentioned before, lack in the variety department, however. The longer you last and complete levels, the more you will appreciate what is on offer. And there you have it.